It's a common phenomenon, brand enthusiasts zero in on an overseas model and imagine that if it were appropriated for stateside consumption, it would not only upend the performance per dollar hierarchy, but also require dealerships to hire extra security to handle the teeming masses waving their checkbooks. I'd be first in line. They say. In this instance, the manufacturer is Chevrolet and the car is the Holden Commodore. But General Motors was planning to bring its stateside as the Chevrolet SS long before the keyboard tastemakers took notice. Having previously experienced less than stellar results with the sadly misunderstood Pontiac GTO and later the Pontiac G8 sedan, two recent Australian American V8 powered products that failed to build much excitement at the cash register, GM knew to temper the plan with a dose of consumer reality. Sales turned out to be consistent, if not earth shattering. GM sold 2,479 units in 2014, 2,895 in 2015, and 3,013 in 2016. Ultimately, it was the company's decision to shutter Holden production altogether, not weak sales, that sealed the SS's fate. Ordering for the SS concluded at the end of February, with Chevrolet dealers now selling off any remaining stock. Interestingly, Chevy sold 1,529 SSs in the first three months of 2017, with 1,217 sold in March alone. Apparently, news of the car's impending demise helped stoke some fires, that and a recent fire sale advertising 20% off. One of the SS's more interesting traits is its high level of standard equipment. In addition to the hardware above, the base price of $48,620 includes a dual-mode exhaust, a limited-slip differential, 3.70 to 1 final drive in the manual versus the automatic's 3.27 to 1 ratio, proximity entry, remote start, heated and ventilated power front seats, a leather-wrapped steering wheel and shifter, a head-up display, forward collision warning, a rear-view camera, rear cross-traffic alert, lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, and more. With the SS, you won't spend hours hemming and hawing over the option sheet. On our test car, the only items adding to the bottom line were the $395 orange blast paint, which was bright enough to negate the whole disappear into the flow of traffic theory, and a sunroof for $900. The sticker also calls out the $1,000 gas guzzler tax. It's $1,300 with the automatic transmission. All in, the total came to $49,915. If we had the chance to order our own, we'd go with basic black.